Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Dumpster Cam. I am coming at you with a nice little dumpster dive haul here. Um, when the dumpster dive is fairly small, I'm just going to do it here on my kitchen counter. But for the bigger ones, I will definitely get that little table out and go from there. Um, but today we're just here on the kitchen counter. And we will get into the haul right here. It is all from Aldi. Yep, it's all from Aldi. Um, we had some, some days there where it was pretty cool, pretty chilly, but we have had quite the mild week. It has been in the 60s. It's been quite unseasonable, but I'm not necessarily complaining. I am ready for some real fall weather, though. And our clocks go back tonight, so maybe maybe it'll spark the transi transition that we need to fall. Anyways, what I have from Aldi are two of these original flatbreads. One of them I will keep out. I'll go ahead and put the other one in the freezer. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this cinnamon raisin swirl bread. I have two loaves. This one I have eaten two out of. This one is unopened, so I'll go ahead and put that one in the freezer. Next to that, I have some sliced pumpkin loaf cake, which as you can see, I have been enjoying. <laughs> um, pumpkin is without a doubt the best dessert flavor. Like I love pumpkin. It's always so moist. I love the season. I love it all. So absolutely delicious. 10 out of 10. I also got a pumpkin pecan bundt cake. This I have not tried yet, but I'm sure I will enjoy that as well. Um, most, either, most of these are just barely past their best by date, but they'll all be just fine. Behind that, I have a bag of vanilla wafers. They were in the box, but when I took them out, the box like fell and rapidly went down deeper into the dumpster, so I didn't bother. They're a little crushed up, so um, but that won't be a problem. I already told you about those. And then I have one box of sliced potatoes, the scalloped potatoes. And they do have cheese and sour cream on, cream on them. Um, I'm not a huge potato person, but I do like scalloped potatoes. So those should be pretty tasty. I have two. I actually had three, though. I have eaten one of them of these signature meal kits. It's the um, Alfredo with chicken. When I made this, I did not eat the chicken just to be safe and because I'm not a huge chicken person, honestly. So I just went ahead and discarded the chicken um, because, like I said, it's, it's we've had some cool days, but it's also been pretty mild, so just to be safe. But the meal itself was very delicious. Next time I make it, though, I made it on the stove, but next time I make it, I think I'm going to add a little less water than they recommend. All right, the last thing I think, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I can't think of anything right offhand for the dumpster diving, but um, I know it looks odd. I don't know if you guys want to like look at these chicken legs, but I had a whole pack of chicken drumsticks, and this was the first meat I've taken of the season. However, I'm not going to eat it. Um, I cooked them up. I just boiled them in plain water, and I'm going to, well, I have been giving some of the meat to the cats as a little treat now and then. She loves it, she goes crazy for it. He has been really picky with his food recently and as you can see, he's eating right now but also making a mess. <laughs> um, he's just been preferring dry food over anything else. So, you know, he's still a, a good sized chunky boy so if that's what he prefers, that's what he prefers. But overall, I'm really happy with what I did find even though it is a little bit sparse. And then I got a few more things at the thrift store that I will share with you. One of them being this bread maker. Um, my bread that I made last time was not the biggest success, so I figured I might as well try my hand at bread making with a bread maker. This one's pretty small, and it came with the instructions, so that's why I, I chose this one. Plus it was $10. Not the like absolute best deal in the world, but pretty good deal. And then I just got this little ottoman as well for $8, a green storage ottoman, I thought would be good for my little spare room. And then moving on to some bad news is this, not steel wool, but I do have steel wool strategically placed around my kitchen here because I have found some mice. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had to move my dishes that I just did <laughs> for the haul, but I have found three mice and all three of them I have trapped underneath the drawer here in the stove. I have two traps down there right now. Um, this is my first winter coming into winter here at this house. So obviously I have to, you know, 
learn the tricks of the trade and everything, but I have sealed up all the holes that I could find inside and outside. Plus I have an exterminator coming on Monday because my cats have not been doing their job of mousing for me. <laughs> um, I hate the thought of mice like being in here. I have not seen them scurrying about, but I know they are obviously if I'm catching them. Um, so the exterminator will be here on Monday morning and I'm hoping that solves our problem. Like I said, it's my first winter here, so I just have to kind of learn what needs to be amended and fixed with the home. So that's that. Um, I have a few more videos I want to film for you making things. I actually filmed my yogurt maker already. Um, I'm going to put that together with a few more things, so that will be coming at you soon. And then I just want to say... If if you pray or if you, you know, are spiritual or anything like that, just lift up lift up a prayer for my, my grandma and my mom and my aunts and uncle. Um, my grandma's health kind of rapidly declined recently. She's 83, but she's been healthy and spry up until now. And within the past few weeks, she's just quite rapidly declined. Um, so my family went up and visited her. That's where we were for a little while. And my mom is going back tomorrow to spend about a week with her. Um, but she's starting to be confused now. Like I called her the, yesterday and she was talking about um, how my grandpa hadn't woken up yet for the day. But my grandpa has been um, dead for over 20 years now. So she's kind of in the in-between right now. And, um, you know, just prayers for a peaceful end of life, I guess we can say. But as of now, she isn't actively passing. She's just kind of declining. Um, but everything's fine. You know, that's the way life goes. And I've, I've been lucky to have all this time with her. So that's that. And everything will be well. And I'm excited to come back with some more videos for you. But as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam, and I will be back soon with more dumpster diving, thrift store, house, cat, you know the deal, all sorts of related videos. So thank you guys.